Howdy, everybody. How's everyone doing today? Hope y'all are having a great, uh, uh, whatever this day is, Sunday. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> I'm, I'm a fucking, uh, idiot, and I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stumble through this as I, uh, put out the call saying, like, hey, guess what? Guess who's a streaming? Pen, what's up? How you doing, Pen? Whatever's going all right. I'm super behind because I didn't realize what time it was and I was working on things. Mostly my Animal Crossing house, I'm, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Green She, what's up? <clears throat> How are you doing? Hope y'all are doing okay. Glad y'all could make it to the Sunday stream. I had coffee again today, so I'm, I'm fucking wired. Um, what am I doing? Uh, that's right. Uh, YouTube first. Hey there. Uh, hey there. How's your Sunday? Wanna come watch me play more of the dang, uh, romps? I'm live with hashtag dangin rampage. Uh, right now, in fact. Come join, won't you? No one reads these anyway, so it's like, oh, that's not necessarily true. <clears throat> Uh, put that on the yub tubs, and then we go over to the tumble roonies. Ayude, hello! So hype for this next week's stream, so she's gonna go. I'm, I'm expecting a ton of shit to happen. <clears throat> that's, that's control C, not control V. What's up? Uh, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, need something to do for the next, uh, couple hours? Why not come watch me play some, uh, dang, uh, dang it grandpas? Uh, <clears throat> ellipses. I'm live with Danganronpa. <laughs> Please come watch, because it's funny. Salsa, what's up? I see those a few times. He's there. <laughs> well, because social media is fucked, and uh, like thirty percent of any of your any on any social media, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Tumblr, like you're lucky if thirty percent of your fucking followers actually see you post anything. So it's like, yeah, it's up there. You might not see it for a couple of days, and you're a little late to the parody, but here we are. Um, that's why it's important. Um, I work in marketing, so uh, that's why it's important to like post multiple times if you're like an artist or any sort of content creator period is to post the same thing on separate days at different times to try and um get as much engagement as possible <clears throat> uh and i'm gonna ignore twitter because twitter gets an automatic thing from streamlabs so get fucked twitter <laughs> what am i doing uh we're going out of here we're getting on the discord let everyone know that we are live Soccer investigation and support. That is very fair. That is very fair, Blue Boyfin. Blue Boyfin. Um, and uh, you know what? Watch it if you want. And if not, you can always watch the VOD later. Uh, let's see. Content alert. Uh, how's it hanging? Uh, how's it hanging? Uh, at everybody? Er one? Me? Oh! I'm just live with more Dungan Rampas. Come watch if you if if you like. Send to fifty people? Yes. <clears throat> I'm like I said, I'm fucking I'm fucking wired, man. I'm I I had the coffees, so I'm give me my chat, please. And if you would work, I'd appreciate it. <clears throat> I don't know if chat's gonna work. What? Love it. Love it! I love it when Streamlabs doesn't want to fucking work. <coughs> We're in the spoileriest spoiler part of Spoiler Town, but a spoiler pain to stab you with their spoiler knives. <laughs> oh good, chat now works. Good, thanks Streamlabs. For nothing. So, I, I had the thought. I had the thought. I kind of want to... Yeah, Discord's a 50. Like, we're, we've been over 50 for a, a couple weeks now, I think. Um, so I had the thought, I might, I might want to present my theory on what I have, but there are some pretty heavy spoilers things in it, like, leading into this. 
What do you guys think about that? Because at that point, I would just have to be like, I, I will just put up like a text thing on, on the screen that says, Hey, these are spoilers. Don't fucking listen if you don't want to know. But I'm not even 100% sure if I'm right. But just kind of like to, to think about where my head is going. I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> Boom, bam, bam, ba -dee, ba -da. Well, let's get into it. Let's just let's just let's just load it up. Hey, Don, how you doing? These people work through things. Oh, oh, the coffee's coming back. Oh, the coffee's coming back. <clears throat> let's just load it up. Fuck it. Let's go. We've been listening to this music long enough. Doodly life investigation. Bam, 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 bam. <clears throat> okay. I, you know what? Let's let's wait until we get to the trial before I before I present uh, my information that I might have. Call theory spoilers? Not like I don't, but there's some there's some bullshit involved in my theory that kind of comes out of left field. I think I'm not 100 percent sure. Like I said, I don't even know if I'm right, but I feel like I remember something from from it's just a game theory. Um, from my days on Tumblr when, during one of the Homestuck pauses where everyone jumped on the Dong and Ronpa all of a sudden. Um. Alright, fuck it. But You know what we're gonna do? Fuck it. We're, we're saying fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, uh, let's see. I'm gonna do the add text. Add source. Add source. Uh, text. Spoiler! Uh, or I guess, I guess... Potential spoilers. Eight exclamation points. Uh, font size, make that shit huge. Um, do I have my custom text in here, actually? Do I have joysticks? I'd love it if I had joysticks. I do not. Well, get bent. Font style, regular. Yeah, fine, fuck it. <clears throat> text transform, no, I don't care. Wow, this is really strange. Vertical alignment, center. Okay, well, don't center it, I guess. Potential spoilers. <laughs> Good boy. That's fine, Blue Boy Finn. VOD will be up on Wednesday, so you'll be fine. Hello, uh, Combat Sing 2004. Welcome. <clears throat> All right, so before we continue on, that text is very difficult to read. That's not ADA compliant at all. That's not even- that's not any better. Can I give it- can I give it, uh... Can I give it- oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> that's kinda cool. Uh, it's, that's just me playing around now. Alright, potential spoilers. How about this? <clears throat> Alright. Alright. So here's- here's where I'm gonna say anything, and I'm gonna lead up to it. And while this is up, Block it out. When it goes away, you're good. The spoilers stop. <clears throat> um, like, so, starting now, I'm gonna go into my theories about what's happening. And I don't want anyone to confirm or deny in chat. So just, just, this is just me saying what I think is, what, what I think happened. I don't know if I'm right. This could be complete bullshit. But once the text goes away, you're good. Starting now. All right, I'm assuming anyone who wanted to mute the video or uh, mute the stream uh, in the interim has done so. So, here's the thing. I saw something way back in my Tumblr days where someone who's supposed to be dead isn't dead. Um, and that someone is Junko Enoshima. So, my only thought process... Hi, Juju, what's up? Um... My thought process is Mukuro, uh, whatever, Ikusaba, was a body double for Junko, which explains why, uh, Makoto, uh, was like, oh, you don't look, you don't look like you do in the magazines. Get back here, baby. We're here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get off the trash. Let's go. Come on. There you go. There you go, baby girl. Um, which is why Makoto was like, oh, you don't look anything like in the magazines. And she was all like, oh, dismissive about, like, um... <clears throat> uh, oh, well, you know, it's all the makeup and all the Photoshop. No one really looks like that. But then, 
it explains why they had a flashback, just metatextually speaking, when, um, Kyoko and Makoto were talking. And, uh... It had a flashback back to... Fuck, fuck, the, the, when, when she got stabbed by, by the spear, by Gungir. Gunganingadagir. Um... And so, that's like, that's reminding you, oh, hey, remember when this happened? Because the spear went straight through Junko's chest. <clears throat> and so, that explains why, why the knife went all the way through, even though every time we've seen the body, the knife was nowhere near through the body its entirety. Um, I don't, I can't explain the bludgeoning, but that's, that's what I've got. Junko's alive, she's the ultimate despair, and she's the mastermind behind everything. That's what I've got. But she needed to be dead so she could keep working on things. And Mukuro was her body double. That's what I've got. Alright, spoilers done. <laughs> and yes, there was a pupper. I think she's laying down now. Let me see if I can get her. I will pay the dog tax. Tulip! Tulip! Baby! Wanna say hi? There you go. There you go. There's a sweet girl. There's a sweet girl. <laughs> what you doing, baby? What's up? <laughs> All right. All right, now we can get on with the play. Ten minutes into the stream, we can finally actually start doing shit. Fucking camera, don't fight me. Don't, don't start with me. Don't start with me, webcam. Turn off the game, it's dog stream now. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, let's get, let's get to it. Um, what are we doing? <laughs> so, where are we going? But it's just a theory. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? We need to go to the second floor dorms, right? Like, every door is open. Um, nothing's closed. Uh, Mono Shithead opened everything for everybody. Um, so like... Boop, 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 boop. That's a classroom, a library, archive, stairs to three... Stairs to two, class. I forgot, what the hell am I doing? Uh, okay, 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 okay. I need to I need to go back to the body. I know I know I know I need to do that much. <clears throat> They're in the place you are now. Oh, that's right, that's right. It's like shit. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Map, help! Okay, this is uh, dormitory first floor, this goes to the stairs second floor, so, like, that's, that's the way I need to go, right? Is over to here. The gate's open, that's right. <clears throat> we can finally check out the second floor of the dorms. Which means, you know what that means, I have to do it. Oh, look, a Vicky print! You know what that, what the fuck happened here? This is the second floor of the dorms? There's blood! Someone got fucking crushed to death over there! Holy shit! It looks like some ancient ruins. Or, no, it's more like a battlefield. Like a bomb blew up here or something. I told you about the stairs, bro. Hot! Got caliente damnito! Holy shit! A blue pop. <laughs> okay, so this... Okay. Interesting, interesting. Um... Hello? That's not the right one. Hello? Oh. Yeah, the one with the light on it probably is the one that I can go into. There's a lot to unpack here. There's a lot to unpack here. And a clue notebook. In our handy dandy notebook! The bed is completely torn apart. I mean, it's not even really a bed anymore. It's just garbage. That's fairly bed shaped. It's like a Minecraft bed, but it's fairly bed shaped. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> I opened the door just a crack, gently, glanced inside, and immediately closed it again. There wasn't even a hint of a bathroom, just a big pile of rubble. Cool, what was my- what was the fucking point in coming here? There ain't- there ain't nothing in here. Cool. Glad I- this- these look like fucking, like, <laughs> like, tank round holes. Gambling, fine. <laughs> That's fair, the monocoin, that was the real, the real purpose of that room. Alright, are you gonna go into this women's restroom? This is the girl's bathroom. Even in a place like this, I can't bring myself to go in. You know what, fair. I respect that, Makoto. 
<clears throat> what do we got here? Literally nothing. Literally jack shit. Though the bathroom is in fairly decent condition. I guess the bathroom is a sacred place. Um, let's see. What the fuck? Why is there a giraffe here? What the... What the fuck? Alright. Okay, okay. Why is there a giraffe? What is this? What the fuck is this? This room is filled with lockers, and some of them have metal plates on them for some fucking reason. It must have been uh, for the Hope Speak students who came before us. The class before ours must have used these lockers. Rad. Oh, no! You're gonna make me look at all of these? Okay, fine. Let's go fucking right to left, I guess. I can't imagine any way to get this locker open. I'm not even gonna bother trying. Great. Great! There's a metal plate mounted to the locker. There's no way to get it open. <sighs> cool. <laughs> Let's just go through one by one. I wonder if I can open this locker. Rattle, rattle. Nope, locked. There's a card reader installed on the door. Oh, okay. Never know. <laughs> you never know what's. I got. I gotta get my fix. <laughs> I don't see how you get the locker open. After all, it's pretty similar to the card reader for the locker rooms on the second floor of the school. And you have to use your e handbook to open those up. So does that mean? Well, let's just give it a try. I took up my handbook and ran it across the card reader. And then... <laughs> Don't worry, combat. I've been playing this game for fucking 30 hours. I'm still lost. <laughs> no luck. Maybe only the locker's uh, owner can open it, which means none of us can do it. <laughs> There's nothing left. <laughs> He's got a real problem, this kid. <clears throat> I don't think this locker's gonna open. Oh! <gasps> but we got the coin, Makoto! Yep, we're just gonna go locker by fucking locker. You don't- <laughs> Yeah, but... What if there's something new in there? I wonder if, it, if I can open this locker. Rattle, rattle. Nope, locked. Card reader. After all, okay. Okay, so it, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna get into this shit, right? There's a metal plate man in the locker. There's no way to get it open. Uh, what about these busted up ones? <clears throat> Looks like this locker is already broken. C cool, yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh dang it. I can't imagine any week this locker up and I'm gonna bother trying. It's already open! Alright, whatever, man. Fucking hell. What about this? I, fuck it. I'm, fuck, fuck this. <laughs> I'll come back if I don't get anything else out of this. Alright, where are we going? Um, I mean, this has two rooms. That's pretty sus. <clears throat> okay. This room doesn't feel like a student's room. It has a more adult atmosphere. Correct. Hi! Hi! Hi, Kyoko! It's the headmaster's private room. Ha! Ah! Shit, Kyoko! Fucking! <laughs> I've been through this room several times already, but I still have one little regret. So I decided to check it out one more time. Huh? A regret? That's a weird choice of word. Cool, um, can you not be standing where all the shit is? <laughs> I would like to investigate, please. Can you fucking move? <laughs> Baby? <laughs> a leather chair. Can't imagine a student using something like this. It must have been the headmasters. Okay, then keyboard and computer and door. The desk is home to a computer. It must have belonged to the headmaster. And a monocoin. How about that? <clears throat> <clears throat> There's a PC on the desk. It must have belonged to the headmaster. Rad. Whoever used this last, it looks like they were very interested in the ultimate despair. <clears throat> the, uh, the PC still has some search results left on it. Oh man, he didn't clear a search? Then <laughs> we're gonna find some sick shit, ain't we? Then we might be able. Uh, then we might be able to get some info in, in, on the ultimate despair in Terabang. However, there's not much though. Nothing we don't already know. The ultimate despair isn't one individual, but instead points to some kind of group. That group is responsible for the tragedy, which happened one year ago. They're the worst sorts of people, whose driving force comes from despair. However, and that's all there is. Not much to it, is there? <sighs> but I guess that's the best he could do as a complete uh, Kirigiri failure. But any information about the Mastermind is helpful, right? I appreciate whatever info we can get our hands on. Correct. I see. That's a good outlook to have. Childish. The ultimate despair. 
add to the truth bullets. All right, what about this very conspicuous uh, uh, door panel? Huh? There's a strange gap in the wall. Is it some kind of design mistake or a construction defect or something? De defect? 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 So... There's a gap here, but not just any normal gap. <laughs> it's a weird gap. It's a strange gap, in fact. I can feel a, little, I can feel a breeze coming out. A breeze? Indeed. Huh? There's likely an open space on the other side of this wall. Open space? Does that mean... You mean, like, a hidden room? <laughs> it's a good thing Makoto's cute. <laughs> it's a good thing he's lucky. <laughs> he's got his looks. That's all he's got going for him, though. I think I might... I think I might know how to open it. It's the gap. <laughs> you know how to open it? Did you figure out some kind of trick or something? Indeed. A very easy trick, yes. So easy, I'm not sure you can even call it a trick. I saw a program on that PC that I think controls it. Enter the right password and the door should open right up. However, but I don't have a clue what that password might be. All we know is it's probably made up of letters and or numbers. We can't really go from there. Use, uh, use regular expressions. Just fucking put it in. Just have it pull it all out. You're right. That's nearly, uh, that's not nearly enough to go on. It's true. Hey, Pan, what's up? I looked through all this paperwork, all the files on the PC, everything I could think of. I learned more about him than I can, had any desire to, but nothing that might have been his password. When I think of how much time I wasted on this... Jeez. <laughs> Why don't you just push it? <laughs> so there's a hidden room she couldn't get into. That's what she meant by regret. I still don't think regret's the right word here. I think we can assume that there must be some kind of clue waiting in there. But maybe for her, there's more to it than that. Anyway, if we want to get in there, we need to figure out the password. And if Kyoko can't figure it out, no way, I, no way do I stand a chance. No. Wait. There might be a chance. So you're saying... There's a chance. The password could be... Something Kyoko wouldn't have thought of. Or something she didn't want to think of. For example... What about your name? What? Oh, oh sorry. I was just trying to think of what the password might be. Wow, I guess, I mean, look at that look. I'm sure she hasn't tried it. I mean, it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea that he would use her name as his password, knowing how she is a bit, the idea never even occurred to her. Um, do you mind if I try it? Just to be sure? Well. It's not like you need my permission. If you want to try it, try it. Do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try it then. Excuse me? You know, I'm glad I thought of trying Kyoko's thing. <laughs> it's just Makoto walking over to the computer. I'm really glad I thought about this. <coughs> but if that's not it, that might just hurt Kyoko even more. Hmm. If you're worried about me, Makoto, don't be. I already know what your get that your guess is wrong. Okay. In that case, here goes nothing. I collected myself, then turned to face the computer monitor. <laughs> it's real scary interacting with technology. I'm just a country bumpkin. Let me just type the password here, like you do on a computer. Totally normal. I typed in her full name, Kyoko Kitagiri. My hands were tense, slightly trembling as I finished typing it in. Fucking eyelash in my eye! What? That did it? Kyoko, it worked! <laughs> Fuck, fucking asshole, son of a bitch, shit, fuck, bitch, asshole, motherfucking dick. <laughs> Why? K Kyoko? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna stand over here while you deal with some sort of internal struggle you had about your father. Without looking at me, she disappeared into the hidden room. She looked... grim. What's up, baby? Kyoko. <clears throat> oh, thanks. You guys rethink something for real. You're not fucking wrong, Ayode. It's really like, boy, you really need to sit back and go, oh man, this fucking moron figured it out. It's like when the barbarian figures out the puzzle a wizard couldn't. Like... <laughs> <clears throat> hey... Kyoko? I may as well not even be in her room. <laughs> her gaze is fixed on only one thing. <clears throat> a present? Wrapped and covered with such joy. I- okay. Y'all get some weird adjectives for what you're describing here. That's what made it so unusual. Right, the present. Uh, there's a few other things I want to look at first. I better check out that suspicious present before I do anything. Alright, fine. Fine, fine. I still have an eyelash in my eye. Fine, I'm fucking, I don't want to deal with this. There's a brightly colored box here. It seems totally out of place. The more I look at it, the more suspicious I get. The present's pretty sus. 
<clears throat> what's, what's in the box? Okay, <laughs> Donkin has loot boxes now. You gotta pay for it. You gotta pay to open the box. Should we open it? I'm getting kind of a bad vibe from it. But I mean, we can't not open it. Okay. Makoto. Be careful, Makoto. Why do you think- why? You think it's dangerous? No, not dangerous. But surprising, probably. Huh? It would seem... If it is what I think it is, at the very least it's not something you'll be happy to see. Is it a head? Wait, so... you know what's in there? Anyway... Just don't scream or anything, okay? Are you saying it's something that'll make me want to scream? Ah! Uh, okay, I'm just gonna open it! Step by heavy step, I approached the box. I took a deep breath that took hold of the lid. Slowly, ever so slowly, I gently opened the door. I lifted it up. What? Ooh, wow. <laughs> I don't... Is there a... There's a graphic... There's a graphic glitch there or something where you can see through the lid of the box to the pipes behind it. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, uh, Honkin' Bones! Light began to sneak its way into the box. I stole a hesitant glance inside and... <laughs> oh yeah, okay, there it is. Kyoko's device is no use. I let out a trembling cry. Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of a head. What was in the box? It was bones. Uh, not a whole lot, honestly, honking bones. Human bones. It was the last thing I expected to find in such a bright, joyful box. I mean, who could have possibly imagined? Just as I thought. What? I'm gonna imagine this is your dad? This your dad? Hmm? Papa, Papa Kitty Giddy? What, what you got, Kyoko? Just as you thought? How could you have known that? What the fuck, Kyoko? I mean, there are bones in there! Human bones! I mean, not even were! Are! There are bones in there! Present tense, Mamakoto. <clears throat> so, uh, Kyoto. <laughs> <coughs> Well, it's not what I was- it's not that I was thinking of the bones specifically. I just had a feeling it would be his body. Th that's pretty much the same thing, a dead guy in a box! My father. Huh? What about him? Correct. What you found in the box. He's my dad! <laughs> You're my dad! Boogie woogie woogie! <laughs> Those bones. That body. That's my father. Or at least was left of him. Are you serious? Then a straight- you're not wrong, are you? I'd rather just see straight up bones than- than a fucking still, like, zombie, like, like, rotting thing. Which implies he's been dead for a long fucking time, actually, if he's just bones. Either that or his killer bleached everything off of his body, like, melted everything off an ass and bleached the bones. We're not gonna discuss this. Thanks, Radiobot. Happy Spoopy Month! <laughs> hey! This is- Kyoko's dad? The same man she's been searching for? Hold on, how can you know that for sure? I knew- I would know the shape of that skull anywhere. How do you know that's him? So... Given all the information we have already, that's the only possible answer. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out, and according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. It's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in host peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. Alter Ego said that the headmaster was probably here in the school, but the only ones who were alive at the start of the killing game were us 16 students. When you put those two ideas together, it doesn't take much to assume in other words, that most likely my father was in this school, but he was also dead. <clears throat> That's my assumption, anyway. As Kyoko explained her analysis, she was completely calm. Oh, I guess the plant would make sense also, because the plant could eat things, wouldn't it? This box is all kinds of fucked up. You don't, there's no backside to it now. Like, it's, <laughs> it's just like, the, the textures. I don't know if they're not loading or if the port's weird. Or no. She wasn't calm, or she wasn't calm. She was only trying to seem calm. She said it was just as she thought, so she knew it was a possibility. But I have to believe that at some point she wanted to be proven wrong. 
which is why she never looked in the box herself, even though she had plenty of chances. I know Kyoko said she wanted to see her father so she could cut off all ties, but what? Uh, but was that all there was to it? <clears throat> I gave up some of that pride. Did we see bones earlier? I don't remember. <laughs> in order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. Would she really give up her pride just for that? I couldn't help but wonder. Hidden room present! Hey, come on, box of bones! Way, way back. Man, I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. Well, 30 hours into this. <laughs> the headmaster's desk. It's probably hiding some kind of clues. I really want to check it out, but. I really don't want to touch Kyoko's dad's desk without her permission. Hey. <clears throat> Before chapter. Was it fucking really? I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> don't worry about me. Feel free to look around as much as you like. Are you sure? Because... Never let anything get in the way of the investigation. I don't. Okay, then. If you don't mind. The space of the... Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, wow, really? Wow, okay. Starting from the top, I opened all the desk drawers and looked inside. I rummaged through each one, finding nothing but un unrelated documents. But in the last drawer... <laughs> huh? Is this... It's an e-handbook, right? And it has a label on it that says, In Case of Emergency. I'd found some kind of emergency handbook in the headmaster's desk. Thanks, Makoto. A handbook with no limitations, given to the school's ultimate authority, the headmaster. I'm assuming that's what, uh, that's what that is. I think you're probably right. It might prove useful as we continue our investigation. Why don't you hold on to it? Huh? But Kyoko... I, I don't need it. If you don't want it, go ahead and leave it here. Then... I guess I'll take it. Is it really okay? Headmaster's ebook. All right, cool. So I can go to the other other fucking locker room. Yeah. Huh? This picture. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, that was a good one. It's all faded. It must be pretty old. <clears throat> Wait, is this picture of? Hey, Kyoko. Why would you? Well, this is annoying. I came here to cut myself free of the past, and yet, and yet, her arms are like a weird pink. They almost look like they're like not getting enough oxygen, even though it's like blue. They just look pale and like really sickly. <clears throat> to now find uh, to now find something like this. So, uh, so what did, do you expect me to do now? Then I was right. It's a picture of Kyoko when she was a little girl. Knowing the headmaster had this picture. All this time, he must have really cared about her. Why? Too much your dad actually really loved you. Yeah, how does that feel, Kyoko? Your dad's dead and he actually loved you. He cared about you a lot. Hmm? <laughs> Why? What? I wanted to face him and tell him myself to cut him out of my life for abandoning me. That's the whole reason I came here. And now he's abandoned me again. And this time, he even stole the only opportunity I had to move on. Has there ever been a worse father? Kyoko, I don't think that's a takeaway you should be getting from this. <clears throat> Vote of Kyoko and Headmaster. <laughs> Rad. Cool. Hey. Listen, Makoto? Huh? Hmm? What? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Sure. A favor? What is it? So... I know it's completely unreasonable to ask you this, and I know it'll only inconvenience you that much more, but... Hey. Could you leave? Okay! <laughs> huh? Correct. <clears throat> Am I the asshole I wouldn't disown my dad when he turned that he doesn't actually love me? <laughs> just for a little while. I'd just like to be alone for a bit. Kyoko? Don't worry, I'm fine. I just need to calm down a little. I need to get my emotions in order. Order. You know, Kyoko, you told me before about the relationship you had with your dad. With your dad? You're only connected by blood, not by heart and soul. But... Maybe that picture motivated him. Maybe it ho he hoped to see me again someday. Is that what you were going to say? Yeah? If so, it's just a theory. And this isn't an issue that can be settled with theories. That picture doesn't change the facts of what happened, what I went through. I... That problem can't be solved so easily. You're right. 
I'm sorry. Anyway. Once I've I got myself under control, I'll return to the investigation immediately. That's the same pen. That same. I was like, mm, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not. I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> Sometimes things don't need to be said. <laughs> so please, just give me some time to myself. Okay, I understand. Then I'll see you later. All right. Well, that was a that was an awkward conversation we all had, dear. Is she really okay? Kyoko. It must have been a complete shock to her. I mean, it was a shock to me. <laughs> And we all know my experiences are universal. To find out what happened to the headmaster, there's no doubt the mastermind performed that evil deed. They killed the headmaster, killed Kyoko's father. They killed him. They killed him good. They killed him good and dead. The headmaster is dead. The one leading uh, the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak's uh, the Pope uh, headmaster. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. I killed him till he was dead. But we were wrong about that. The headmaster wasn't the mastermind. I mean, I knew, it was such a solid theory, too. They both have the word master in it. Which means the mastermind's true identity is... Fuck all if we know. It's a very polarizing approach. I, we've already gone. We literally just went through this. But okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this, the killing game began with 16 participants all in high school students, and the only people to take a single step post uh, since the killing game began are those 16 students. <laughs> people die, Linda. Fifteen of us met in the main uh, male hall. Add a Mukuro to the, to the mix, and you get 16. And including me, only six of us are still alive. Everyone else is dead. Oh yeah, let's just go through. Let's just let's just relive all this, huh? <laughs> Even Mukuro. Even she's undeniably dead. So the ones still alive are me. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this poor boy. Look at how angry he is. His 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 poor, angry, very confused expression. <laughs> just, just like I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Byakuya. Enki boy is Enki. <laughs> Hero, this moron. I don't know how you fucking survived this long. I fucking, <laughs> fucking, I've been listening to Critical Role again, and at one point, the, the, the fucking Mighty Nine was doing something, and Matt just goes, I don't know how you people made it to level 12, and I fucking lost it. Because, <laughs> like, half the fucking people left alive are like, I don't know how you survived this long. <laughs> Toko. Hina. And Kyoko. <clears throat> Only si those six people are still alive. Then there's no question. Wait, no, that can't be. I refuse to believe it. There has to be some other way. There just has to be. Does there? Do there? Sometimes it just be that way. Sometimes it do just be that way, Makoto. Leave the area? Yep, time to go search through 40 fucking lockers. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Hello? I can't see him there. Alright, here we go. There better be a fucking giraffe in one of these. <clears throat> I'm glad you're enjoying it, honks. Uh, all right, here we go. This is this is gonna be 20 minutes of looking through lockers. I can't imagine anyone getting this locker room. Okay, fine, fine. Bad start, bad start. I wonder if I can open this locker. Rattle, rattle. Nope, locked. It's a card reader. That doesn't know how to get the locker open. After all, it's pretty similar to card readers on the second floor, and you have to use your handbook to open up. So does that mean, well, let's just give it a try. I took up my handbook and ran across the rock reader, and then, bzz, no luck. Maybe only the locker's open, which means none of us can do it. Wait, but? What about that emergency handbook I found in the headmaster's hidden room? The 17th student giraffe. Okay, let's give it one more try. Just fucking do it! I'm right fucking there! I took the emergency handbook and ran that across the card reader, and... <laughs> Beep! Alright, just what I was hoping for. Now let's see what we got inside. Another body. <clears throat> I don't see anything that might be a clue. They're really, they're really, really gonna do me that dirty, huh? Alright, fine. 
Uh, just keep going for the fucking pattern, shall we? My camera's all kinds of fucked today, I'm sorry. I'm like, I can't find a fucking way to put it. Uh, and beep, looks like the locker open. Now let's see what we've got inside. I don't see anything that might be a clue. Fucking great. For every single one, oh god. At least that. Looks like the locker open, let's see what we've got inside. Mm, nope, don't see anything that could be a clue. Rad. You're doing great, you're doing great, bud. Got inside. Oh hey, we actually get something here. This thing is practically empty. <laughs> Was this necessary? Was this necessary? Anything at the bottom? Anything spray painted on the top? <laughs> it really does. There's just one thing, some kind of pocketbook. I don't see a name written on it, so I can't say for sure whose it is. But there's some writing inside. Could be important. I don't like violating the owner's privacy, but I'd better take a look. It looks like a girl's hand. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> And all the letters are spaced out evenly, like whoever wrote them was measuring them. Whoever wrote this must have been really meticulous. Huh? I was flipping through the pocketbook, but my hand froze when I got to a certain page. Yeah, what a fucking sexist thing to say! Like, just going like, hmm, this looks really, this looks really nice. Must have been a woman. Like, alright! I saw something familiar written there. Words I'd heard before. <clears throat> Uh, there's a plan to turn Hope's Peak into a shelter and isolate the students here in a communal life. That's pretty fucked. I decided to talk to the one who came up with the plan directly. Yeah, actually, you're right, Pen. Hero has immaculate handwriting, apparently. <clears throat> it just so happens to be the headmaster, and my father. He was willing to give me some more details regarding the plan. Here's what he said. The point is to keep our student prodigies safe, to keep them as our hope for the future. <clears throat> Only their genius can overcome disaster, and only their hope can overcome despair. For the future of our country, our world, it's not an exaggeration to call this our final hope. We must isolate our What the fuck is this? Is there like some sort of like fucking apocalyptic scenario about to happen? We must isolate our superior youth from the corrupted world to serve as the foundation for a new era. This is the only hope we have. I hope that you'll be willing to go along with this plan. What's up, RubyRoo06? How you doing? Glad you can make it. So that's what my father had to say to me. As usual, he made a selfish decision without consulting anyone else. I can't imagine a worse father. This can't be true, can it? But I knew it was, and I knew exactly who the pocketbook belonged to. Kyoko. It couldn't be anyone else. But if this belonged to Kyoko, what was it doing in this locker? And what she wrote here completely contradicts what she already told me. She said she hasn't seen her dad since we left. Uh, since he left when she was little. I decided to talk to the one who came up with the plan directly. It just so happens to be the headmaster and my father. Thanks. We just literally just read that. What does this all mean? What does it mean? It's so bright, so vivid. Double rainbow, double rainbow. So intense, intense. I quickly scanned the remaining pages of the notebook. I must have been looking for something that would prove me wrong about this whole thing. But when I reached the last page, the question marks spinning through my mind just started spinning that much faster. <clears throat> when I looked at it, unlike the rest of the pocketbook, the writing here was messy, disorganized, scrawled. Despair walks among us. Oh no! There's an imposter! What is this? What does it mean? It's so bright. I have no idea. How could this possibly make any sense? Well, I wish I could have fucking read that. Uh, there's a- and so we survive, there's a second despair. Locker pocketbook! A locket book! Locker book! Alright, are there more locker? A more locker? Already broken. Rad. Version of handbook. Beep. Locker open. Got inside. None that's a clue. I don't know what he was on the fuck- <laughs> I can read! Not well, but I can read. <laughs> With teens is more drama. Kind of, honestly. One imposter. Actually, you're you're right, Don. The one imposter remains. <laughs> I took the emergency handbook. Blah blah blah. blah. Looks like locker open. Else, use inside. Oh, hey, oh, there's shit in here. This locker is totally disorganized. Whoever belongs to probably has organization problems in every part of their life. What the shit? This looks like a bunch of heroes' shit. This is a crystal ball. Huh? A crystal ball? 
No, it can't be. There's no way he ever uses locker. It's just not possible. Thanks. <laughs> Drag him. <laughs> this is a deck of playing cards? No, they're tarot cards. But wait, aren't those used for telling fortunes? It's just a coincidence, right? There's all kinds of textbooks and notebooks stacked up in no particular order. And dust everywhere. I have to assume whoever stuffed this is didn't do a lot of studying. Now that I can really talk. Trying to act as casual and natural as possible, I picked up one of the notebooks I saw. But the moment I looked inside the notebook, any sense of easiness uh, I may have had evaporated. Yep, this belonged to Hero. What? There's no denying what I saw. Inside the notebook was written, Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hagak uh, excuse me, Hagakure. Is this our Yasuhiro? <laughs> Fair point, like... <laughs> the notebook also contained a large number of notes for a variety of different classes. Which would mean... He... Attended classes here? No, that can't be possible. I mean, Hiro came to the school at the same time as the rest of us. Hey, boy! We, uh, we're, we're finding out Hiro, uh... uh might be... Uh, no, Hiro takes... No, you're not wrong. And we were all sucked into this evil world. We never had the chance to take any classes. So, what is this notebook? Found some, oh yeah, found some bones. Uh, I guess if you, uh, you know some, someone's dead. Not not a student. Well, all the kids are still alive. I mean, except for the ones that are dead. <clears throat> sands in a box. Sands in a box. First you cut a hole in the box, then you stick your sands in the box. All right. Cool. <clears throat> But the more I see, the less it makes sen or sense it makes. Because these lockers. I mean, they had to belong to the previous students, right? So why am I seeing this? Why are there things in the lockers that look like they belong to people here? A notebook that seems like it belongs to Hiro. And a pocketbook that seems to like it belongs to Kyoko. There has to be some kind of explanation. <laughs> Stick your fingers. <laughs> but if I want to find that out, I have to keep moving. Uh, moving the investigation forward. And I have to believe in everyone. Believe it! Leave the area? Yes! I looked at all the ones that could uh, uh, open it. I could look inside of. Alright, so, um, next thing I need to do... Is, I guess, go back to the crime scene? Find the body? Uh, map. Wait, here's the map. Here's the map. Here's the map. 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 Jim. Jim. Hope to peak fifth floor. Uh, garden. Oh, that's right. Then the, all this shit is open now, too. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Let's go here. He's the dumbest one left. I, I mean, Makoto's still alive. I don't think we can completely rule out. <laughs> um. Where's the body? Huh? It's gone. Mugoro's body. To Toka's, you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> There's three idiots that are still left. Four. <laughs> Hina's not all that bright either. <laughs> it's not here? The shit? What the fuck? <laughs> what did you do? Spit it out. Drop it. <laughs> Literally everyone turned their back on the body. We had to expect this. Not a lot of them were... Sp no. 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 The Monokuma flower. Is it true to really eat paper plastic and people? Well, they really like the case, so I better keep a distance. Did they feed it to the chickens? Jezebel, how dare you? There's still just four chickens left. Honestly, I'd be kind of terrified if there were more than that. Oh, ghost chicken. We're gonna go in and the fucking uh, lawnmower is just covered in blood. Maybe the body is inside the tool shed. I'd better check just to be sure. I didn't find anything even close to a dead body. But if it's not in here either, then it must be... I have no idea where. But corpses aren't the only thing I need to check in here. Uh, there's one other thing. That tarp. A tarp played a key role in another case, so... I'd better look into it. Cool. Single bodies and have, have you always joined in once the bodies... Like, we're done looking at the body boy? Chicken... Oh, man! So, fucking... I had this, uh... Years ago, I had this, uh, d d monster. There was a frost wolf, but it basically... Um, it would split off if it had over, uh, 30 hit points. Or if it had, uh, over 15 hit points. So it would, like, over the course of the battle, it would split off and have itself. So it just 
you would have more and more wolves fighting over the course of the combat. Just have a chicken that does that instead, and suddenly you have a fucking uh, cuckoo situation from Zelda. Um, might work that into a D&D &D game somewhere. <clears throat> the killer used the tarp to keep the sprinklers from getting the body wet, which means the killer might have left some clue uh, behind here. Huh? I didn't notice before, but there's a small stamp on one corner of the tarp. Yes, Tulip is behind me, because apparently, I mean, it's... Oh, I guess it is raining out. She doesn't like storms, so she's she's back here. Oh, and Frost Doggos. <laughs> <clears throat> it says, Biolab? Then this originally came from the Biolab? Biolab! Tarp. Cool. Uh, is, is this covered in blood? Is that Lawnmower? I don't think it's related to the case. Cool, rad. I'm glad, I'm glad. To the bio lab. Well, first, if I want to go to the dojo and figure out what the fuck Toko's doing in the dojo. That's all I really needed to check here. But where could her body have gone? I better start looking for it. Is the crazy... Does he say something different about the, the diamond? The crazy diamond? Crazy diamond pick. It's that pickaxe. And Hannah says, crazy diamond. The same thing that was written on the back of Mondo's coat. This pickaxe is going to Mondo somehow. Strange. Yeah, that's... Leave the area. Where the arrow bundle was, right? Leave the area. All right, we're right, 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 here. We go. Nice <laughs> <Shitty> shitty graphics. <laughs> All right. What's up, Toko? I really don't want to talk to you, but here we are. Oh, Toko. So this is where you were. What do you want? Okay, you're gonna talk to me. Am I so disgusting? You want me out of your sight? No, that's not it. Uh, no, that's not it at all. I just thought maybe you'd found a clue. Well, I haven't. Well, you're fucking useless. I didn't find anything. Not one single clue. I figured since this place was related to the case, it would have been. It would have to have something, right? But there wasn't anything out of the ordinary here. Give it back! Give me back my precious dime! Calm down, Toko. Don't tell me to calm down. Do you have any idea what I'm going through right now? When everyone finds how they're going to call me useless, good for nothing. <clears throat> Nobody's going to say that. Master will. <laughs> oh yeah, of course he is. He's kind of a dickhead in case you haven't noticed. I'm not sure I can disagree with that. I don't want that. I'm sick of always being looked down on. Why won't anyone accept me? Um, well, I don't think there are any clues here, so maybe I'm gonna get going? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave you to your devices here and check out this shit. It's a bunch of wooden lockers in here, found a clue in here with a frame Kyoko. Okay, yeah, whatever, so not, not fucking relevant. Great, cool. Glad I came here. You're already fucking... <laughs> you ain't wrong. <clears throat> I always, I kind of wanted to try playing Crisis Core, even though I know... Next to nothing about FF7. Alright, cool. Well, here I am in the biolab. It's so cold! It's like... Abnormally cold. Okay, so we're storing bodies in here. I feel like I'm in a giant refrigerator. Seriously, why is it so cold? Okay, so they're clearly storing bodies in here. There are icicles hanging from the monitor. Thanks, bud. I'm surprised the frames can't work with how cold it is in here. Ugh, so cold. Why is it so cold in here? That's the first thing I need to figure out. Well, because they're storing bot. Alright, fine. There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. And on the left side, there's a bunch of glowing blue lights. But on the other side... Open them. You dumb fuck. Fine. I heard Crisis Core was phenomenal. Uh, my wife loves it. She likes it more than FF7. It's more interactive. There's a stack of tarps here. I've been seeing a lot of those things lately. Why the fuck did you come in here? Okay, okay, so these ones are not on. 
<clears throat> I mean, to be fair, in the original, like, everyone, okay, all right, for, real quick recap. In my limited experience with FF7, that is Cloud. He's a fucking piece of shit in FF7 until a certain point in the game because of things that happen in Crisis Core. So people going like, oh, they changed Cloud, brr 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 He was always an edgelord, yeah. Like, he was always kind of shitty. <laughs> um, the problem is with Advent Children. They basically threw all of his character development away to go back to being an edgelord. That's the problem. <clears throat> yeah, because he was, he was this, he's this young recruit, just joined soldier, um, and you play as Zack, who's really the best character in the fucking game, like, out of the series of FF7 games. <clears throat> but because of the events of Crisis Core, Cloud turns into an edgelord, and then he has character development to where he's not an edgelord by the end of FF7, but then they reverted all of that and threw it out the fucking window once Advent Children came around, which is the movie that they released. The movie's fucking awesome, just for the animation's sake and the fight scenes and everything, but they just, they just basically go, yeah, all the things that happened and made these characters progress as as characters, forget that. Just fucking throw it into the garbage, light it on fire, and forget it ever existed. <clears throat> oh yeah, no, he gets, he, I, there's a point where he fucking snaps out of being, oh, I'm a soldier. <laughs> Anyway, there's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. I've seen something like this before. Ah, oh, that's it! I've seen this kind of thing in horror movies and stuff. Also, you... Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. It's a fridge for storing dead bodies. Does that mean this biolab is actually a morgue? I should probably take a closer look around. Open it, you... <laughs> open it, you pansy! Oh, there's some kind of booklet here. It looks like an instruction manual. We offer an eco-friendly alternative to standard dry ice for all your cadaver needs. You know, it's so, it's so common. I have so many cadaver needs on a daily basis, how do I solve that? In addition to the germicidal lamps, we also provide an ozone generator for the removal of ethylene gas. Simply insert the cadaver, I thought I was going to say insert into the cadaver, and the blue light will let you know the automated systems have activated. Temperature and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optimum settings. With our system, anyone can keep a body fresh as a daisy for as long as you need. In the unlikely event of a problem, the red light will activate and an alarm will sound immediately. The exterior is stainless steel and we do offer an optional leather upholstery upgrade package. Why would a body- it's a body! This is... the instruction manual for the fridge? I wanna see the body, come on! Just show it to me! <laughs> Ten Dean's and bodies magic- Yeah, is this where the bodies are just kept? Sack of tarps here, been seeing a lot of those around lately. Great, love it. Open the fucking thing. <laughs> you- <laughs> open it, you bitch! One of those uh, fridges they put dead bodies in. I've seen them on crime shows and stuff. So, is everyone who's died... Then does that mean... Since Mukuro's body disappeared from the garden... Could it be in here? <laughs> yeah, fair. I need to check, but I have no idea how to open this thing. There's an instruction manual, you dipshit! Oh, there's some kind of booklet here. It's instruction manual. Yeah, 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 got... Yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. It's an instruction manual for the fridge. Some kind of weird machine or something built on the wall, and left side, the one on the left. Oh, the right hand lights are off. Well, looking around, I think I get it. It seems clear to me now. Uh, it was a makeshift morgue. Okay. Okay. Biolab secret. And about those lights by each slot. It looks like they, uh, it's set up so that when a slot is occupied, the blue light comes on. Which would mean inside each slot lit up in blue. Another one of the victims is. Biolab lights! I was just, just fucking, just open it. Open it, you bitch. I can't let my emotions take control right now. There's only one thing I can do for everyone who's died. And that's defeat the mastermind. And to do that, I have to continue my investigation. I don't have any other option. Open it, you bitch. Thank you for the follow, Logan77688. I'm sure I'm building the wall. Left side, there's a bunch of glowing blue lights. The lights are on. All right, lights are off. <sighs> okay, fine. There's a stack of tarps here. I'm seeing a lot of those lights. Alright, fine. You're the former World's Wars McDonald's. <laughs> that sounds exciting, boy. Well, glad you could join us for a little bit, though. Alright, what the shit? Alright, what am I doing? What? What? What am I doing? 
nothing here, nothing here. Um, ah, there's nothing there. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, that's the headmaster's private room. Where the fuck is the headmaster's? Oh, there's that door in, uh, yeah, the data center. It literally just, literally just hit me. Into the data center. Hey, Makoto. Are you here to look around too? Is that what you're doing here? Mm. Yeah, I can't help but wonder about that Monokuma door. Yeah. So I figured, if all the doors in the school had been unlocked, that one should be open too, right? But... Although, I couldn't bring myself to open it. Because I mean... it might explode, right? And that really sucks, so... You open it! Thanks, Hina. Thanks, Hina. I'm sure she didn't mean it, but she made it sound like she was okay with me getting blown up. <laughs> Thanks, Hina. Really, really appreciate it. Okay, so... I guess I'll open it. Wait! Uh, let me take cover first. I don't want to get exploded! Thanks, Hina! Really appreciate the vote of confidence. Hina raced over to a nearby desk and hid underneath it. <clears throat> okay, go ahead! <sighs> Everything will be okay. Right? Alright, here goes nothing. I threw all my weight into it, but the door opened much easier than I expected. I fell ass over tea kettle. What? Oh, this is how you control Monokuma. There is no explosion, thankfully. My first expression or er, impression was Whoa! This place is totally sci-fi! Yeah, I was kinda thinking the same thing. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? There's a hatch. Some kind of hatch on the floor. But right now I'm more concerned about that weird device. Alright. What is this device? It's clearly how you control Monokuma. It looks some kind of control panel. It's really over the top though, like some kind of military installation or something. Yeah, it kind of looks like a mech cockpit, right? If him would probably freak out if he saw it. Cockpit? So the Monokuma room has a control panel that looks like some kind of cockpit. Then could that mean... Okay. Alright, let's start poking at it or whatever. I'm gonna start pushing buttons. You know what, I appreciate it. Hold on, you can't just... Or whatever, or something like this. But it was too late. He was already jabbing away at the control panel. Huh? huh? Did you hear that? I think it came from the other room. Hina, what did you push? <laughs> I'm not totally sure, but... I think it was that one. The button that says Data Center. Data Center? I took, uh, I took a good look at the control panel, and saw a bunch of buttons, each with the name of, the, of a room next to it. And just like Hina said, there was one labeled Data Center. That must be the one she pushed, considering that's the one she just said to you, you fucking dense asshole. But the Data Center? That's right next door! The room we were just in! That's where the strange noise came from! Right next door, the Data Center! It's right next door! It's where the strange sound came from! I'd probably go, uh, better go check it out. Yeah. Yes, please! I'm kinda scared out of my mind right now, so I'll just cheer you on from over here! Thanks. I fucking great. Love it. <laughs> Thanks, Nina. Appreciate it. Hello? Did I just hear what I think I heard? What's up? Is that Monokuma? Howdy. You want you guy be like, what's up? I mean, he's empty unless unless Hina says something. Hey. Grr, <laughs> give me all your donuts. Is that you, Hina? What? Aw, oh, man, busted. How did you know? Anyway, what is this? Some kind of remote control camera kind of setup? You don't even know what you're controlling? Well, I mean, I can't really see anything from in here. Ah, oh, guess what I found? A self-destruct button. Fucking don't. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't push it. Aw, oh, man. Were you seriously gonna push it? Anyway, I guess that settles it. The room with the monocum with drawing on it and the control panel inside. I guess I'm going in? <clears throat> it's my monokuma controlinator! It controls all monokuma in the tri-state area! Whoa, hey Makoto, what the heck was that just now? Monokuma? Huh? What do you mean? 
what you were controlling just now. It was Monokuma. Huh? Monokuma? But for real? Yep, it looks like that panel definitely controls Monokuma, which means the Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. Yeah, they're definitely in here. The Mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. He literally just fucking said that. And this control room is totally separate from the data center area within all the mon uh, with all the monitors. In other words... Maybe the Mastermind can't monitor, monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Kyoku's theory was right. But, but if the Mastermind's been controlling Monokuma from here, that means they've been inside the, uh, the school this whole time, right? I guess that would have to be true. But if that is true... <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants on the screen. The only person that can the single again are those 16 students. Yeah, we fucking know it. We get it. And the mastermind, Monokuma's puppeteer, really is the 16th student? No, it can't be. There's no way, right? Monokuma control room. Um... What's wrong, Makoto? I don't like that face you're making. <clears throat> oh, no. It's nothing. Okay. What's wrong, Hina? What about you? Is everything okay? I mean... Oh, well, it's just... This is where the Mastermind's been hiding, right? Who knows if they set up traps or something? I can't say it isn't possible, but I really hope it's not true. Um, so, like... You want to leave soon? There's still lots of other places to check out. Yeah, good point. We can't waste all our time standing around here. Okay, you want to get going? Yeah. What about this hatch? Hold on. Um, What's wrong, with Makoto? Having... Uh, f all right, fine! Fine! Don't let me do what I want to do. <laughs> Click. As soon as the door in the danger was closed, I heard a strange sound. What was that? Oh. The door! It just locked on its own! What? What? In terror bang? My hand shot out to grab the doorknob. More of a handle. Rattle rattle. You're right, it's locked, but why? <clears throat> of course it's locked because the data center is now restricted! Monokuma? Hey, no fair! You can't just go around restricting whatever you feel like! Hey, it's um... for your benefit! Because that room stays open, I won't be able to move around! <laughs> Imagine how depressed everyone would get if the school mascot just up and stopped moving! Then, that room... Yep. As you may have guessed, that's where my controls are! Um... So, right now you're being operated by someone in that room? Yes, indeed! Correct the moon, no! But that doesn't make any sense! We were just in there and we didn't see anyone! <laughs> oh, you didn't, did you? Are you sure you were as thorough as you could have been? Fucking asshole! Did you happen to check a certain suspicious hatch? Yes! Twice, in fact! No way! The hatch on the floor? <laughs> Too bad! That was your one big chance and you blew it! No! Fuck you! I didn't blow it! I fucking wanted to look at the hatch! <laughs> Too bad! Of course, that hatch can't be open from the outside anyway, so whatever! No, then this room is officially restricted, so no more investigating. I'll be relying on you guys to tell the others. Yeah. <laughs> Peace! Um, He's gone, but... So, was he telling the truth? The Mastermind was hiding in there? In fact, if you think back on when we got uh, locked out of the control room, that proves it for sure. Huh? Then, when I said we should leave... Yeah, you fucked up, Hina! You really fucked up! <laughs> well, that hatch couldn't be open from the outside anyway, right? So it's not your fault. Sorry. Okay, okay. Anyway, we don't have uh, we have to let, let it get to us. We have to stay positive and make the most of the time we have left. You're right. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's keeping my body moving. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go run around and tell everyone what we found here. Purple kind of sus. Nice, you've got me all motivated again. You got it. Okay, I'm out. See you later. He took off at a full sprint. <laughs> full, full on Joseph running. <laughs> And I have to do what I can, too. That's the only way forward. <sighs> that, actually, that actually really pissed me off. Because <laughs> it's like, no, fuck you. I didn't bother looking at the fucking hatch. I tried twice. Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a weird carpet. Why fucking... Why that? <sighs> Hello, uh, Korkioskork. I hope I, I hope I pronounced that right. Holy cow! <laughs> welcome to the chat. <laughs> yeah, welcome. <clears throat> it's never a, never a stream that goes by where we don't reference Homestuck at some point. 
This is the headmaster's room. I've heard an awful lot about it, but this will be my first time seeing it for myself. So... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to I'm going to actually not approve that one cuz that one is that one I do know is uh fairly offensive. <laughs> not nothing on you, pen. Just uh I'm just going to I'm just going to yeah, yeah, we're not, that one, that one needs to be blocked. <clears throat> anyway, let's uh, bring the chat back up. <coughs> Boy, that was a real fuzzy grab there, but I could, I could definitely, yeah, that, one, that one's fine. You know, Makoto, hmm, <laughs> emote, yeah, fair, fair, Pantheos. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, what am I doing here? Oh, hey, shithead. And you're good, Pen. I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't think I'm intending by that one. That one was just a, that one was just like a, 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 a uh, thing blocked up. Yeah. <laughs> but I could see how that could be, uh, fucking abused later. So I'm going to leave that one, leave that one blocked. But you're good, Pen. <laughs> oh, Makoto, it's you. Oh, Byakuya. Cool, yeah, I don't want to talk to you. What about these papers? There are documents scattered all over the floor. Something makes me feel... anxious. Uh, let's see. Come on. Hey, Makoto. Are you ignoring me? Yes, actually, in fact, I am! <laughs> you think I'll forgive uh, that just because you're, you're you? When we get out of here, remember this moment. Fine! Well, you came to the right place this time. Would you like to see something interesting? Makoto, pay attention to me! What do you mean, something interesting? <laughs> Zip! Take a look at this. It was on top of a, a pathetically ostentatious desk. Class number 78, student registry? I mean, it says roster, but okay. I'll let it slide. It contains profiles for all of us. And Mukuro. So, in other words... App apparently, class number 78 refers to us. Wait, when we found Mukuro's profile in Kyoka's room. I see. That's right. It also mentioned class number 78. This must be where Kyoko got that page. And since the rest of our profiles are listed in uh, there along with hers, in other words, there can be no doubt Mukuro was a student here at Hope's Peak Academy, just like the rest of us. Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student. The one known as the ultimate despair. That must be how Kyoko learned about it. But it seems that like Kyoko was in a hurry. Huh? What do you mean? I'm talking about when she stole it. The uneven tearing. The way the paper had been crumpled. She must have been in a hurry. Well, since she snuck in to get it, I'm sure she wanted to get out as fast as possible. <clears throat> but what's your point? She was in so much of a hurry that she only got the first page. The first page? Hmm. Correct. Mukuro's profile actually contains two pages. <laughs> Gee, Mukuro, how come your mom lets you have two pages? What? So, in other words... When it comes to this profile, there's more information about Mukuro that we still didn't have. <laughs> what kind of information is it? Why are you asking me to explain every little thing? You can read, can't you? It seems to be some sort of detailed report put together by the headmaster himself. I don't know what kind of man he was, but I'm glad he left such an interesting clue. I was half listening to Byakuya as I skimmed through the report. <laughs> what up? My name's Okoto. I'm 19 years old, and I never fucking learned how to read. Mukuro reappeared suddenly, and in the background, uh, and in the background, an entity floats, close but just out of reach. The entity known as the Ultimate Despair. She's a stand user. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group. Whatever it is, Mukuro definitely has some sort of connection to it. I have a bad feeling about all this. I need to push forward with my research into the ultimate despair. And I need to pay attention to Mukuro's behavior, too. This is just my gut feeling, but I think she's dangerous. Well, no shit! She's known as the ultimate despair! Despite the countless battles she must have gone through as a member of Fenrir, when she entered Hope's Peak, she didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars. <clears throat> 
<laughs> That's fair. That fact alone proves her tremendous skill in battle. Naturally, I want to believe in her. She's one of my students, after all. But if I describe, uh, decide she's a danger to the other students, I'll have to kill her. I'll be forced to take all reasonable measures. <clears throat> Mukuro was a part of the ultimate despair. I don't think there can be any doubt about it now. But wouldn't that mean Mukuro and the Master were allies? So why... Why would they kill Mukuro? Plus, even the Headmaster seemed to be afraid of what Mukuro was capable of. They would have had to take her completely by surprise to kill her like that. Or... Okay, for those of you who are paying attention, that does feed into my theory about about everything. Or maybe it means the Mastermind was even stronger than Mukuro was. What? <clears throat> What's wrong, Makoto? Uh, <laughs> huh? That's fine. That's a video like that week for committing. <laughs> a week's of detention. You committed war crimes and atrocities against humanity. You seem to be lost in thought, but I should probably point out one other thing. There's another important bit of information within the file that you should note. What is it? Did you notice the picture in there? A picture of a girl perhaps you've never seen before? A girl who seems to be included as part of our class, number, uh, of, our cl of our class number 78. That should be enough for you to figure out who the girl is. And further information about that girl is included in the file. 5 foot 7 inches, 97 pounds? I'm 5'7 I weigh 130. And I'm fucking scrawny. And it even lists her vitals. Uh, 31, 22, 32. Those aren't vitals, those are measurements. Well, what do you think? What do I think? Are you asking me, like, if she has a nice body? You hopeless idiot. What I'm trying to tell you is maybe you want to keep that in mind for later. Maybe you'll make your way back to the corpse and maybe you'll think, oh, could that mean? Wait, is he trying to say... Look, uh, here's the thing. What, I, I have not grown at all since I was fucking 16 years old. <laughs> it's been well over a decade since I was 16. And I have not... I, I think I was. I went from 115 to 130, and that's it. <laughs> There's a chance the body isn't actually Mukuro? Is that what he's saying? I think the measurements are fine. Personally, what I'm thinking seems all but impossible, but it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? It's all clear now. That's what I was trying to say. What you do with that information is your business. So I'm back to being Byaki's errand boy. Mukuro's profile. Added his three bullets. Oh, and one last thing. It's a bit of advice for me to you, so I just you pay attention. Advice? For me? You seem to be getting along with Kyoko quite well. <clears throat> it, uh, it's not that we're getting along, she's just done a lot to help me. <laughs> that's, that's fair, Yildi. Well, don't put too much faith in her. Huh? The cost of that faith might be more than you can afford. What are you saying? Just what I think. Call it a hunch. A hunch. But my hunches tend to be proven right. The advice is free this time. Take it or don't, as you will. Uh, I'll keep it in mind. Thanks. Rad! Uh, I'm gonna go back to not talking to you. Uh, I mean, knowing the measurements helps to look at, like... It helps to identify a body. Um, I know there's an episode of Sherlock when, um, Irene Adler sh first shows up. She uses her body measurements as a sort of clue to help Sherlock solve a case. This is the BBC Sherlock with, um, uh, uh, Bramble Patch, uh, <laughs> uh, fucking Cabbage Patch Kids. <clears throat> uh, class number 78, student registry. Apparently that's us. His profile is me. I run at the beginning and Mukuro. Just because Mukuro apparently is a new student here at Hope's Peak. Mukuro Ukisaba, part of the ultimate despair. Which means her and the Mastermind should have been allies. Remember who those feces vlogged you, Mikoto? But then, why would the Mastermind kill her? Weren't they friends? I mean, friends, they were colleagues, that's for damn sure. I wouldn't say friends. Are these some of the developers? Along the well, no, that's Nikola Tesla up there, so never mind. There's two pictures of Nikola Tesla. Why are there two pictures of Nikola Tesla? <clears throat> there are trophies and even a shield in the display case. There is? Where? <laughs> and what do we got behind you, dickweed? The bookshelf seems really well made, and it's filled with files and thick books. Thanks! Cool. Fucking useless. The gold sword. No! No, I wanted to check the corpse! 
cool announcement. Is everyone working hard? Is your investigation coming along nicely? Uh -huh. Well then, since you're all giving it your best, your generous headmaster will give you a... Hey, Soul of the Blood Wolf, what's up? <laughs> For those of you who are interested, please make your way to the gym ASA possible. What? Now he wants to give us a hint? It's suspicious. <laughs> Black and white sus. There's no doubt about that. This could be a trap. Which is an anagram for TARP! I've been seeing a lot of those lately. But even knowing that... He said to go to the gym, right? So I hauled ass! What's up, Hero? What the fuck are you doing here, buddy? Oh, hey, Hero! What? <laughs> Makoto? Why do you act so surprised? Uh, 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 no reason. You heard Monokuma's announcement, right? Are you here to find out what he has to say? I... I... I just did, actually. I'm on my way out. You already talked to him. What'd he say? Listen, sorry, but I... I gotta go! Hero, wait! What the fuck?! There was no point in trying to stop him. He ran off like a frightened animal. Hero? It was like he was trying to avoid me. I was hoping to talk to him about the notebook I found in the locker. Has he been hiding something this whole time? Hero sus. Hero sus. What's up, shithead? There you go, you plush fuck. I am <clears throat> hello, welcome, welcome, hello! Are you ready for your final hint? <clears throat> well, it just so happens to be in the envelope on the ground in front of you. The envelope? Okay. This must be the envelope. Pick it up, asshole! <laughs> and just so you know, I won't be answering any questions about what you find inside. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't worry, just get on with it. Please, just get on with it, for fuck's sake. Monokuma's cryptic words didn't make me feel any better, but I picked up the envelope. And opened it. What I found was a single photograph. Look at this photograph! Every time I do it makes me laugh. Okay. Alright. Okay. You- okay. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Yep. Yep. Alright. <clears throat> look at them, they're all so happy. They're all, look at them, they're all, they're all so, uh, happy to be there. They're all smiling, they're all friends, except for maybe Mondo. Oh no, Mondo's smiling too! Celeste is having an awful time, but Celeste is always having an awful time. <clears throat> I got it, Salsa. I picked up, I got it. I'm there. <clears throat> So let's give a fuck about uniforms. The hero doesn't give a fuck about uniforms. Look at this dickhead. I featured a bunch of faces I recognized extremely well. It was everyone who'd come to Hope Speak at the same time as me. Wait, but... There's someone behind Sayaka. What's up, baby? Hi. What are you doing? She's the only one I don't recognize. Wait, that's not true. I do recognize her. That's right, when Byakuya and I were in the headmaster's room, and we looked at that file... Mukuro Ikusaba. Then this girl is... What? Why? Why is Mukuro here with everyone else? And even more than that... Just having everyone here pose like this is weird enough by itself. And we're all wearing... Weird? You're not even in this picture, Makoto! <laughs> the fuck are you talking about weird? And we're all wearing matching uniforms. I don't remember anything like this. And now that I'm looking at it, it's not even everyone. I'm not in the picture, <laughs> dumb shit. <laughs> Fucking not like for real though, Chixie. I'm the only one not there. The picture has all 15 other students, but not me. But I guess that makes sense. After all, I don't remember ever taking a picture like this. I went to junior high with Sayaka, but the first time I met everyone else was when I arrived here at Hope's Peak Academy. 
So it's natural for me not to be in this picture, but what's definitely unnatural is that everyone else is in the picture. I thought everyone was like me and didn't know each other till they got here. But if this picture is real, then could that mean, could it be everyone else and just me? Everyone here except me is... <laughs> how long are you gonna keep, keep, how long are you gonna keep up this rambling soliloquy of yours, Hamlet? You You're kinda getting in the way standing there, you know? So, I mean, get out! But, I told you, I'm not feeling any questions. What kind of mystery would this be if I gave you all the answers? That'd be totally out of left field. They're just, uh, the, the mastermind just fucking key, key smashing now. I guess that means he's done talking. How did you get out? <laughs> Damn it! Let Makoto say fuck! Group photo. So in the end, all I found in the gym was even more confusion. And with that confusion in hand, I left the gym dejected. The gym did. The gym, gym, gym jected. How does that count as a hint? It just made me, uh, made me even more confused. Is that what Monica was going for? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the fucking steel ball run is a fucking, the whole plot fucking is, is, uh, the president of the United States is holding, uh, uh, a run in, like, uh, 18th, 17th century United States, it's, like, during the wild, end of the Wild West period kind of a thing, um, for people to go from the East Coast to the West Coast, it's supposed to be, like, Cannonball Run, but the whole point is, like, yes, you're going to, uh, win all this stuff, <laughs> but the, it's a cover for finding the severed body parts of Jesus scattered throughout the United States so we can put them together. <laughs> it's so fucking, it's so fucking like, it's the, one of the weirder ones for Jojo. Did he put together a fake photo just to confuse me? But it looked so real, so full of life. How can anyone fake that? Which would mean everyone but me. Maybe I should ask everyone directly. That should clear all this up. No, I have to clear all this up. I'm spitting everywhere. Leave the area. All right. So now I just need to go and talk to a whole bunch of <laughs> these assholes, huh? Uh, archive. Where am I going? We're going this way. Brandis Jojo. <clears throat> Jojo's my mundane adventure. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Byakuya, explain! America, explain! I fucking love that video. I don't know if you've seen that, but just like, why is this Kansas and this is Arkansas? Explain! America, explain! I fucking love that. Uh, see ya, Ildi. Glad you could join us for a little bit. <clears throat> oh yeah, no, part six. Part six is fucking wild, also. Oh, Byakuya! Listen, do you think we could talk? Byakuya? I have nothing to talk to you about. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. What the fuck? Hey, Byakuya, wait! But of course he didn't, he just walked away. What the shit? Why was he acting like that? Like he was purposely trying to avoid me. What the fuck? What the fuck? Bruh! <laughs> fuck, Spongebob! Uh, okay, well... Um... Where is everybody else? I think what code is the impo- Oh shit, you're fucking right. Alright, hey, hero! Talk to me, bro. Talk to me, man. There's so much to load in this fucking room. Hey, hero! <laughs> Makoto! What's going on with you? Every time I see you, you freak out like that. N no, I... No! Sorry, but I'm in a big hurry! What? Once again, he ran off like a terrified rabbit. So they all think Makoto's the mastermind, right? <clears throat> hero, what's wrong? I still wasn't able to talk to him about the notebook I'd found. It was like he was avoiding me. Like he was afraid of me. Why? 
What? So like they, they think Makoto's because he's not in the picture. So they're all like, oh, well Makoto's gotta be clearly the 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 <laughs> almost like the imposter. The mastermind, because Well, he wasn't there. I decided to visit the vial app one more time. And the first thing I saw when I got there was her. Passed out. Again. Huh? Toko? Ugh, fuck's sake. <laughs> gotta, gotta deal with this shit. T Toko, are you okay? No. No! She's not dead. Is she? There we go. Hey, right, yep. Hi, Jill. Glad you could join us. <laughs> it's cold. It's super cold. It's so cold, I think I might catch I might catch cold. If you keep taking naps in places like this, I'm sure you will. What? I was asleep? I must have fainted again. I bet you were standing there staring at me, getting all excited, weren't you? No, I wasn't. Oh, then what? Hot and bothered? Straight up horny? Um, okay, wow, so... Why did you pass out? I don't know, last thing I remember was me waking up just now. What do you do to, uh, Miss Morose? Oh, that's right, your memory stops and starts each time you switch. Bingo bazinga! We share some basic knowledge, but our memories are very much separate. And don't say it like it's a bad thing, it's a blessing as far as I'm concerned. Because even if she forgets something, I totally remember. So it's like, double the memory! <clears throat> uh, no. It's more like half. Jonas like Jack's memory. But all I want to know right now is, where's my little darling? Tell me now or I slit your throat! I, I don't know. I'm sure Byaki's around somewhere doing his own investigating. By himself? I assume so. I knew it! I totally knew it! I'm a total pro when it comes to all things master! Anyway, I gotta hurry. I can't even imagine how lonely he must be right now. Please. <laughs> I don't want to be in a room alone with you. Toko shot off, her eerie laughter echoing behind her. I totally forgot to ask her about the picture. Well, there's no point asking Genocide Jack anyway. Besides, I have more important things to do right now. Why did Toko faint? There's gotta be some reason for it. Gee, I wonder. The fridge, it's open. But I'm sure they were all shut tight last time I was here. That must be why she passed out. Hi, Kyoko. He's just fucking hanging out in the shadows like a fucking creep. She faints so easily. K Kyoko! Makoto. It's getting late, isn't it? Are you... okay? Indeed. I'm sorry if I made you worry. No, you don't have to apologize. Listen. But listen, about this room... Oh yeah, it's... It seem... It's a morgue. Yeah. I, knew I suspected as much. And Toko must have looked inside the fridge, seen what was in there, and... Well, there you have it. You knew she'd fainted? Indeed. Oh, excuse me, I don't know where that came from. I was on my way here when Genocide Jack came running, running past me. I assumed she must have sneezed, but once I got inside, the real reason became clear. It would seem... I managed to keep her to investigate, and when she opened the slot there... That's when she saw the body inside and dropped like a bag of rocks. Why has everything got to be so difficult with her? Anyway... Anyway, we should close it up. Don't want to leave it anything open, or leave it hanging open like that. Yeah, good idea. Makoto. Give me a hand with this. Kyoko approached the fridge, hands outstretched. But suddenly she stopped. What's wrong? Listen. Maybe we, uh, we should wait a second before closing it. Huh? How come? Because Mukuro's body is in here. <gasps> Mukuro's body? Mukuro's corpse? What a coincidence! Mukuro's body is inside the fridge? And Terabang? Well, I mean, it's... Kinda. I mean, it's, it's out, it's open. I see. Just like every other time, the Mastermind probably brought it up here while we were in the class trial. The Mastermind did it? Because they assumed we wouldn't be doing we wouldn't be doing the class trial over again, I guess. So... You may be right. Either way, now I can finally get a good look at the body. Oh, that's right. Kyoko didn't get a chance to check the body during the last investigation. <clears throat> I need to do my my own examination of the corpse as soon as possible. I'm going to find a clue this time, and I'm going to grab the mastermind by the tail. Okay, so what should I do? So then... Why don't you just wait over there? <laughs> You're in the way. I'll let you know as soon as I'm finished. Wait over there. That's it? It's a fridge meant for storing dead bodies. I can't do it. I can't look inside. Fine! Huh. I should ask Yoko about that group photo. After all, she's in it too. Don't let me interrupt your investigation, but I wanted to talk to you about something. <laughs> look, you pussy. <laughs> what is it? It's about that announcement Monokuma made earlier. You mean the one about a hint or something? I didn't take him up on the offer. Huh? Why not? Because... The only reason he'd give us a hint at this point would be to confuse us, to cloud our judgment. 
I can solve this mystery on my own, without whatever hints you may have to offer. That's... a good point. I wish I could go back and do the same thing, but that's but what's done is done, I guess. Standing here, looking at her... I don't think she's hiding anything from me. Is she right? Did the mastermind for forge that picture as a trap to confuse us? That was not my guy. Oh, cool, we got about 20 minutes left. That's gotta be it. There's no other explanation. I pick up a group photo. Yeah, we already did all this. So, body? It's the first match of strong bodies. I can't do it. I can't look aside. All right, fine. We're going look through this more importantly. More importantly? What? What's more importantly? You know, I think I said this before. Oh, now I can look at the car. That, that, that fucking tarp. Ah, it's the same as the one I found in the garden tool shed. And if I remember, that tarp. It had a stamp on it that said Biolab. And that's the tarp that was used to help camouflage the murder in the garden. At some point, someone forgot it. Uh, someone got it from the biolab and took it over there. Tarp has been updated. Cool. Hey, you find anything? I found a tarp. A fucking... 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 Alright, what about the body? Let's say the refrigerator, a bunch of blue lights. These ones are all off. Seem... Whoops. <laughs> Skip that. So when someone's in there, the blue light comes on. Looking around, the number of lights that are on, including Mukuro's, there's nine in all. Nine. 16 minus nine is seven. No, eight. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, no, hang on. Wait, hang on. There's 16 students. Nine, nine are lit. So, wait, you know, that's seven. Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah. Nine lights. Biolab lights. <laughs> fucking basic fucking math. I couldn't do it. <laughs> okay, Makoto, I'm done. <laughs> Already? Jeez, that was fast. Indeed. Anyone can do good work if they go slow. In that spirit, I'll make my report brief. So did you find anything? Indeed. I paid careful attention to the wounds and the traces of blood, and it seems highly likely that the stomach wound and blow to the back of the head were inflicted after death. Really? The burnt tissue made things a little difficult, but I'm completely confident in my findings. So that means neither of those were the fatal injury, right? Then what was the fatal injury? Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. The only other option is those other wounds, but, that, but the file says they were old. Is that right? Where does it say they're old? Huh? Because... All the Monokuma file says is that they were inflicted at least several days ago. Later, Don. Glad you could join us. Have a good dinner. I guess I don't see the difference. Wrong. Well, the difference is immense, considering the impression they give. Listen. You seem to be equating several days old with simply old. However, but that doesn't quite follow logically. Old wounds, it makes it old wounds. It makes it sound like they've been there forever, like they were not related to the murder. Are you saying they are? But we all uh, got the Monokuma file right after she was killed, right? So if the wounds were at least a few days old, there's no way they could have had anything to do with it. So then, but what if Mukuro herself wasn't killed within the last few days? What? At the very least. Certainly you can allow it as one of the many possibilities, can't you? One of many? Right. A detective doesn't have supernatural powers. There's no way to predict the answer from the beginning. Instead, the ideal detective begins by imagining as many possible scenarios as they can. In other words, they envision these possibilities without prejudice, without bias, using only their logic and common sense. Then, as they investigate, they test what they find against each of these possibilities. <laughs> of course, me telling you this doesn't mean you'll be any good uh, at detective work. But beyond using that to solve this particular mystery, you should keep it in mind for the future. Kyoko's account! Hey. So, if there's anything else you'd like to know about the condition of the body, now's the time. Phrasing isn't comes to the meaning. That, that's fair, Pen. I mean, really, because at that point it's like, oh yeah, it's several days old. But it does it does imply that it's like, oh yeah, they're old. Like they got them when they were alive, and you know the scars built and everything. That's fine. It's whatever. But that they're not related. But that doesn't mean that they aren't related. Come to think of it, there was one thing. Earlier, when I was looking at Mukuro's profile, it listed her height and weight. So... Five foot seven, ninety-seven. Uh, five foot seven inches, ninety-seven pounds. Vitals were thirty-one, twenty-two, thirty-two. Did I get that all right? You remembered all that? They are indeed consistent with the corpse. So then. Indeed. And don't forget about the Fenrir tattoo. There's absolutely no mistake. Indeed. Our victim in this case is, without a doubt, Mukuro Ikusaba. 
Move room, Kasama's profile. And? Is that all you wanted to ask? Yeah, I think so. so then. then it looks like we have no further business with Mukuro's body. Let's get going. It's kind of chilly in here. Oh, wait. Are we not going to put the body back? Don't you think it's kind of sad leaving it out like this? Why? Sad? It's a body. Did you forget she was our enemy once? A part of the ultimate despair. But she still got killed. She's still a victim. Hey. Have you ever heard the phrase, you reap what you sow? Well, yeah, but... You really are naive, you know that? It's really quite appalling. But she could have abandoned me. Uh, she, uh, but she could have abandoned me. But she decided to help me instead. So for someone like that, what does it mean to be naive? So then. I think we've done all we can do here. Back to our separate investigations, yes? Uh, hold on! I still have one more thing to do. Something I need to talk to Kyoko about. I need to ask her about the pocketbook I found in that locker. The locker book! If I don't do it now... JUST DO IT! <laughs> DON'T FUCKING roll ME OUT OF THE CONVERSATION! Hey, Kyoko. I did have one last thing. I know I shouldn't, but I feel like I have to ask. What? Go ahead, then, out with it. Have you really not seen your dad even once since you got here? What? So... What do you mean? Well, you know all those lockers on the second floor of the dorms? Maybe. I do, yes. But to get into any of the lockers, you'd need the handbook of whoever the locker belongs to. <clears throat> Actually, I managed to get them open using that emergency handbook. I see. The one you found in the headmaster's hidden room. And? So, did you find anything worthwhile in the lockers? I found... a pocketbook. And after looking through it, I think it must be your pocketbook. Why is that? What makes you say that? Because... Like I said, only the locker's owner should be able to get into it, right? I can't imagine those lockers belong to any of us. After all, we only got access to that area just recently. What I'm saying is there's no way I could have had access to any of those lockers. And if I did have a pocketbook, why would I bother putting it in a locker? Everything you just said makes perfect sense, but there was something written inside. It was about the headmaster. About your father. What? <laughs> Bring! If that's true. Could that mean that video is real too? Video? From way back. Makoto, I think everything is finally starting to fit together to reveal a cohesive picture. Although, I'm afraid that picture might be worse than anything we could have imagined. What are you talking about? I I need to go investigate those lockers, right now. I need to confirm what you said, just said it with my own two eyes. Oh, let me give you the Headmaster's Handbook. That way you can- I don't need it! That won't be necessary. <clears throat> Ugh. If I'm right about this, I shouldn't have any problem opening the locker with my own handbook. After all, it would seem that it's my locker. Your locker? Makoto. If you watch this, it'll all, it'll all make sense. Ugh. A DVD? It- and it says, Class 78, Urgent Interviews. So... I found it in the hidden room after you left. Anyway... I don't have time to explain exactly what I think it means, so just watch it yourself. Uh, watch and see for yourself. I think you'll realize exactly what it means. You'll understand why you found my pocketbook in a place none of us have ever seen before. None of this makes sense right now. I'm fucking flabbergasted. But I guess that means there's some important clue on, the DV on this DVD. Interview DVD! Truth bullets! Oh, and now it's my turn. Do you have a second to listen to, my to me ramble? Oh, fine! Ramble? In other words, so, as it turns out, the arrangements I'm, I'd made didn't stick. What I mean is, I'm less and less sure of everything, even my own feelings. <clears throat> You're talking about your dad, right? I can never f find the answers to the questions I wanted to ask for the rest of my life, and all because of the Mastermind. However, but there's one thing I am sure of. When it comes to the Mastermind, there's no room in my heart for forgiveness. I, I swore to destroy the Mastermind. There's just one more reason to follow through on that. Kyoko's eyes burn with the fire of determination. Oh, she's full of it! The determination to defeat the Mastermind. It's strange to be confronted with his death and suddenly feel this way. I couldn't care less if my father had found happiness. Why? So, why is it? Why does it bother me so much to know how he suffered? It's ridiculous. There's so there's, there's just no understanding it, I guess. She let out a small laugh as she said it, but her smile was filled with sorrow. <clears throat> My voice is getting tired. It's a lot of reading today. <coughs> so, that's it for my rambling. There's still so much to do before I can consider my task complete. Yeah, you're right. Hey. But keep this in mind. There's only ever one absolute truth. Whether that truth serves justice or suffering. Whether it's the greatest truth or the worst. What do you mean? Makoto. 
Even if the truth you uncover is filled with hopelessness. <clears throat> you still can't give up hope. Absolutely not. Because because all I can do is keep moving forward. That's pretty much all I'm good at, you know? Indeed. I'm sorry if that was strange. Anyway, I need to get going. I'll see you at the class trial. Leaving behind that final farewell, Kyoko was gone. I'd better get going myself. I got the DVD from Kyoko. I should head to the AV room to check it out. Kyoko said something about hopeless truth. But no matter what happens, I won't lose hope. Even if the worst truth is in the world. I can't afford to lose! Oh, I'm running out of steam. I'm running out of steam, guys! Uh, Jim. Uh, the dormitory. Where's the... Where's the thing? Where's the thing? Where's the... I need the AV room. Oh, I'm running out of... Running out of... Running out of... Running out of steam here. I need a snack. We only got like 14 minutes left. But we got... I got a snack. I got a... Huh. Give me... Granola bar. Oh. I'm getting dizzy. Hmm. You should be able to play DVDs just fine. Well then, I better take a look. I took the DVD gave me and uh, Kyoko gave the DVD gave me. I'm I'm cutting out words. I took the DVD Kyoko gave me and put it in the player. It said that it was playing, but nothing appeared on the screen. I stared in the black of the monitor. It must have only been a few seconds, but to me it felt like an eternity. And then all of a sudden, an image appeared. I would like to play a game. Sayaka! It took me by total surprise. I hadn't seen Sayaka in who knows how long, and there she was. Okay, then. Are you ready to begin? Oh, good. The voice I heard was of the man positioned on one side of the screen. It was the voice of a middle-aged man. I do apologize, but I hope you don't mind if I record our conversation. I'm a little slow, you know. This guy sounds familiar. I never really got the hang of taking notes while having a conversation. It sounded like he was trying to make a joke, but Sayaka's tense face didn't move a single millimeter. So this video is meant to serve as a kind of contract substitute. It's not that I don't trust you guys. It's more like insurance. So please don't worry too much. Now then, let me get straight to the point. There is a chance that you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Um... Oh, Sayaka's not gonna talk, huh? Great! <clears throat> you want me to accept that? Sayaka's obviously at a total loss. It made total sense. Who would agree to spending uh, the rest of your life in this school? Bye. Accept. What? Thank you. And I'm sorry about all this. Well, I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I give you my word. Is it? That's not. That's not uh, J. Michael Tatum, is it? Is it J. Michael Tatum? <laughs> Hold on. Filmography. Uh, animation, video games. He ain't listed. Really? Huh. It's not in his wiki. It's on his Wikipedia page. Huh. As if on cue, that's where the video cut out. He's for the- Yeah, okay, that might be for the anime. But what about the game? And you know what, that, there's probably spoilers in that. I'm not gonna look that up. There's a lot I hadn't understood up until now, but this... only this... I simply couldn't comprehend what I'd heard, because I know how much Sayaka wanted to get out of here. I know how much she wanted to escape and pursue her dreams with her friends again. I probably do, because... Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Well, I mean, like, because... isn't... 
Fuck, I don't know. Some of them were changed. Okay. She wanted that so bad she tried to frame me for murder. So, why? Get out of your fucking Google feed. Why would she say yes to living here for the rest of her life? As I sat there thinking about it, I noticed a sudden oh, light. On the monitor, the video that I thought was finished flashed back on screen. My eyes darted back to the screen. And if I was confused before, well, I sure as shit was now. What I saw next pushed me right over the edge. What the fuck? Huh? What I saw was me. Impossibly, undeniably me. So, Makoto, before we begin, I should let you know that I'll be recording our conversation. Yes. Yes! Me and the headmaster were looking at each other. That was a very threatening yes. He and I were having what seemed like a fairly normal conversation. But I, the I in the here and now, had absolutely no memory of it. I had no memory of even meeting the headmaster, much less sitting down to talk to him like this. Now, shall we get straight to the point? Makoto, there's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Yes. <laughs> That's all he could say is yes. This can't be real. I said yes? I'm sorry I'm putting you through all this. Well, I mean, we don't have much of a choice, do we? But I promise that as long as you're in this school, I will do everything I can to protect you. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, that's the very least I can do for you. What? Once again, the video cut out. From there, the video repeated the same scene again and again with the others. Byakuya. <clears throat> Toko. Are we gonna go through all of them? Hina. Everyone. Okay, good. They all said that they agreed to live in this school. Forever. And then... Kyoko. Her interview with him had been recorded, just as clearly. Without a doubt, she had met him. She'd sat down with the headmaster of Hopespeak Academy, her father. And when he asked her his question, she answered the same as everyone else. She accepted a life within the school. Just as Kyoko's interview was wrapping up, the monitor suddenly went black. Huh? It wasn't just the monitor, the DVD player itself had apparently turned off. Which of course meant that the DVD wasn't playing anymore. What the heck just happened? Oopsie, looks like it broke out of service! What, it just so happened to break just now? Now then, when doesn't matter. <clears throat> now then, when doesn't matter! Failure can strike anywhere, anytime! That's what failure is, right? Cool. Failure, my ass! You got the power on purpose! Wow! Well, whatever. Oh, it does kind of sound like Shido. Even if I watched the whole thing, it'd just be more of the same. He'd ask them the question, they'd all say yes. I couldn't help myself. I let out a huge, exasperated sigh. But as I did, I remembered something. That's right. I fainted, too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself, a disconnect. Seem... Thinking back on it now, at that point my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to this school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. A convenient outcome. Something that seemed to obviously work in favor of the mastermind. So does that mean... I've lost my memory too? What about the others? Have we all forgotten? Or... Bring! Interview DVD has been updated! Oh! Oh shit, boys! For anything that has a start, there has to be an end! And if the end comes, then that means it's time for a fresh start! There is no Mondo Oh shit! Huh! Although that dawn is totally pitch black, there is no storm that will eventually end. Of course, then that leads to drought. But as I said, every end is the promise of a new beginning. Get, get on with it! Which get on with it! Sure we'll get to meet again, because the end is only the beginning. 
Chi Reckoning. Really? I haven't watched the, any of the JoJo dubs yet. Because I, I only watched um season one, which is parts one and two. But I watched it before they dubbed it. It's about to begin again. The class trial is going to start. The final class trial. The last time all our lives will be on the line. The last time hope and despair are on the line. I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Okay then. This is the end. <clears throat> Alrighty. Uh, excuse me. Fucking hell. That's a good place to stop it, actually. Right, we'll pick up right at the start of the trial next week. Make sure I save, save. I know we're cutting it a few minutes short, but I just, I, I don't want to start anything and, like, get into it. <coughs> it's like, going right into the trial seems like a good, a good, a good transition. Let me save a thousand times because my fucking save paranoia sets in. Dang and rampy. Oh, let's end it with Sayaka. Oh man. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, a lot of shit happened on. So, like anyone who listens to my whole theory, uh, there's some sh there's some shit in there that vindicated it. Actually, I feel some good some good old dang it grandpa. Good old dang it grandpa. Um, yeah. I feel like I feel fairly vindicated up up till now. Um, again, don't don't spoil anything. Um, I don't want to I don't want to have anything confirmed yet. I want to feel like either a complete moron or a complete genius by the time the result around. Even though I saw spoilers that are f f very unfair, actually. Um, but I feel I feel through some of the clues we picked up, I would have been able to to do something along similar lines. So I'm gonna give myself this. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, thanks everyone uh, who's hung out with me uh, in chat today on Twitch. We streamed this on this lovely, uh, well, it's not so lovely for me. It's raining because it's fucking Florida. Um, but on this Sunday morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all had a good time um, because we're almost done with this one. And I feel like shit's going to really hit the whirling device next week. <laughs> but anyway. I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> if you're watching this later, if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, <coughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you click the like button down below and subscribe to keep up with my stuff. New videos almost every Monday and Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time because I stream on every Saturday and Sunday, almost every Sunday, <laughs> at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. There's a whole schedule. There's a link down in my description that goes to the Twitch channel. You can find the scheduling and all that nonsense over there. I have every fourth Sunday off, so every fourth Wednesday there is no video. Just bear that in mind. Um... Comment. What was your favorite part about all this? Was it uh, was it uh, was it uh, seeing the picture and the the mind fuckery that happened there? Like, oh, we all actually knew each other, but Makoto wasn't there. Or was it uh, the dead body, the, the, the body in the box, box of bones? <coughs> Thanks, Grinchy. Um, and share with your friends. If you have friends who didn't have a chance to play Dong of Rampa, uh, either on PC or back on the PSP days, um, but they don't really want to play it, I can take them through this journey, and they can watch how much of fucking moron I am, because I can't figure shit out sometimes. Um, that's all I got. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy. I hope to see you next time. Later, everybody.